Hey, it's Nico. Um, for today's video, I'm just going to show you how I do my tee shot. And um, before I actually start this video, I just want to say um, I know what I'm doing. I was taught this way to do my shot. So um, please don't comment anything like, oh, you didn't aspirate. Like, you're supposed to aspirate. Some people do, some people don't. It depends on who taught you how to do your shot. And I've already asked about that. And they said I didn't have to aspirate. Um, I've been doing my shot for eight months now, so um, I'm, I'm, I'm still good. Um, I haven't hit a vein just yet, but um, but yeah, please don't tell me I'm doing my shot wrong because everybody does their shot differently depending on how their doctors or nurses taught them how to do their shot. Um, also, if you do not like seeing needles in any way, shape, or form, and don't watch this video because I will be injecting my testosterone in my leg for this video. So if you really do not want to see that, then just don't watch. Um, also, I'm sorry for the bad like jump cuts because I don't have any editing softwares that um, can trim like little pieces of the video out, like edit them out. So I'm just gonna deal with what I have. So yeah. Um, I just put all my tea stuff in this bag I got like a couple Christmases ago from like uh, Axe, like the body wash stuff. So I just put it in here and then let me show you what I have. And it's also a good um, way to hold your stuff. I have my sharps container to put all the needles in and then I have this small like pencil box where it has all my, my tea stuff. So that's a good way to keep it um, contained and not have your needles break if you just put it into a bag. Or like if you're staying at somebody's house and you don't have um, a safe place to put it in your backpack, you can just get one of these and put them in there. So that's what I did. Um, so let me just open this really quick so it's ready. Okay, I have two different things. Um, this is just, I'm just using the syringe on this one. I'm not actually using this needle because this is an 18 gauge needle and that would, no actually this is a 23 gauge needle. It's still pretty big but I only use this to take the testosterone out and then I use the 25 gauge one and a half inch needle to inject it into my leg. So let me get this out really quick. And always make sure you wash your hands before you do so. I, I, I just washed my hands. Um, so yeah, let me get this out really quick. Okay, so this is what the syringe looks like. This is a 3, 3 ml syringe. And then the needle on this one is just an inch. And you can either get, you can get whatever size needle you um, you need to get the testosterone out depending on which bottle you have. Um, recent currently I'm using the one ml bottles because they won't. Um, there's like a mix up at the pharmacy, so they won't give me a ten in, ten ml bottle. So I'm I'm just using a one inch needle for that, and then the one and a half inch for my leg. So the thing with the one ml bottles is that it's harder to get it all out. Um, my, my dose is 0.5 and so it has enough for one shot and then there's like a little bit left over in the bottle and then it takes me forever to get some of this out and then out of another bottle. So I'm gonna take, I'm just gonna fill up the syringe with the testosterone and I'll be right back. Really quick, um, always make sure you clean the the top off of the vial if there's not a cap on there. So when it's a new bottle and you take the cap off, you don't have to clean it unless you want to, just to be extra safe. So always make sure you clean it with some alcohol, prep pads or just a cotton ball and some alcohol. And then um, make sure you don't touch the top. Even though your hands are clean, just make sure you don't touch it. And then you pull the sur back on the syringe to get some air in there to your dose. And then 
put it in the bottle and then flip it upside down. So let me just do this real quick because it's going to take a while. Okay, so I filled it up to my dose, which is 0.5, so it's right there. Sorry that took a while. Um, Alright, so hold on. Let me clean my leg really quick. And always make sure to switch legs every every week or every two weeks, I don't know how long um, you do your shots. So that way the scar tissue doesn't build up so quickly. Alright, so I don't know how much you're going to be able to see because I have to do it on my left leg and I'm left-handed. So my right hand is going to mostly be covering my leg. Just make sure you don't touch any, your, so don't touch your leg until you clean it, like, and then get a grip on it. So just make sure you clean it, like a big surface. And then you just wait for that to dry before you inject. You always make sure you want, you always make sure you have the alcohol, like, completely dry, because it burns when the alcohol is still wet in your leg when you put the needle in. Um, so yeah, I suggest waiting. Alright, so I'm going to switch the needle tips. And you just twist it on. Make sure it's nice and tight. And there's the one and a half inch needle to inject the tea with. Alright, so... You just kind of look for a spot that you think won't really hurt that much. Get a good grip, get a nice feel to see where you're going to actually inject the needle. Now, let me see if I can try to get it closer to the camera so that way you can see. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Okay, so I think you can see from there. Let me just put the camera down a little bit. Always make sure your leg is relaxed. Never have your your muscle tense because that will hurt more. So just, you know, feel around. I always mostly do it like in this area, like middle of your thigh. Um, sometimes it is hard for me to do my shot. Um, in the beginning, I could do it in like two minutes, maybe. But now sometimes it takes a little bit more than 10 minutes, depending on how much I give myself to think about actually stabbing my leg. So let's see how long this one takes, and if it takes a while then I'm really sorry. Um, but you know, I don't really want to hide the fact that I take a while to do my shot. I, I see most videos where people are doing their shots pretty quickly, and yes, that is the case for some people, but some people don't can't um, do their shot that quickly. So it's nice to see people that are actually like real about this stuff and not just like, oh yeah, it's so easy, you can do it in like one second. So, let me just see really quick. Also, I always take the cap off really gently because some, the first time I did my shot, I accidentally stabbed my finger because I took the cap off and when I did that, it went right back and stabbed me in the finger. So I always take the cap off really slowly. So if you have a fear of that, just hold it with your hand and twist and slowly pull the cap off until it comes off and then you can take it off the, the needle okay so let me just look for a spot and yes that I noticed that's a big needle it doesn't hurt that bad um, depending on like if you're relaxed or not so let me just Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I get nervous still. You think that after being on tea for a while, you get really used to it, but that's not really the case for everybody. Um, there's still moments where I'm like, okay, just breathe, and you can do this, and then, and then um, I can do the shot. Sometimes I just have to count to three and then just go for it, because if not, then I'll be sitting here forever trying to do the shot. So let me just relax my leg really quick. Let me look for a spot cap back off. Let 
and then I just inject slowly because sometimes it just comes out slowly. So take your time. Sometimes it bleeds, but um, it's not really that bad. So let me just put pressure really quick, because I, I ran out of band-aids. And then you just massage to get the oil moving around in your muscle. And it's nice to massage your leg after, because sometimes um, it can hurt us for a little bit. So it's always nice to break up like the particles or whatever. So let me just massage, massage real quick. Put pressure. And that's really all you have to do. Um, if you have a fear of needles and aren't sure if you can do your tee shot, if you have any, like, if your family is supportive or if your friends are supportive, see if they can do the shot for you. Like, when you go to your first appointment to start tea, um, take somebody with you so they can see how to, um, to do the shot. Sometimes I need all these hard to twist off. Put it in a sharp container. Or you can use whatever container you want, like an old juice jug or milk carton or whatever. Anything that can just keep the... Needle's good. Alright, so let me just put a bit more pressure. And so yeah, that's how I do my tee shot. Um, I do them every week. Um, so yeah. Alright, and that's it. Um, so yeah, never, never think that, you know, everybody gets their tee shot done super fast. Sometimes it takes a few minutes of breathing and and whatever um just to calm the nerves and and that's really that's really it um if you have any questions about anything then you can either comment me like comment um comment down below or message me on instagram and i'll put my instagram in the description again sorry this video was so long um it just takes a while sometimes, you know? So, um, thanks for watching. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, just comment down below or message me on Instagram, and I'll be happy to answer the best I can. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.